So prior to this video, my PC setup did not look very good. And so what I decided to do is find the most inexpensive technology that I can use to make my PC setup look a little bit better. And so that's the main inspiration for this video. So this is the best tech under $10 for your PC setup. So the first thing on my list are actually these little things. If you guys don't know what they are, they're basically Velcro straps that you can use for an array of things. But one thing that I found that they work really well with is cable management. They're big enough that you can wrap them around thicker cables, but they're also smaller and tighter enough that you can strap them around skinnier cables as well. The cool thing about these things is that they're reusable 100% and they're also pretty durable as well. On top of that, they're only $5 for 100 a hundred that is a really good deal right now and i gotta say it's probably the best investment i've made in my setup in a really really long time so pick these up if you get the chance so the second thing on my list are these aluminum headphone hook stands the great thing about these is that you can stick them on any flat surface so if you don't have a lot of desk space like me you don't have to buy a bigger headphone stand to place your headphones you just have to use the double-sided adhesive or the screws that are included with the headphone hook stand and then you place it on a wall or a flat surface and then hook your headphones onto that. Although this is only $7, it actually it seems pretty durable. I've used it with heavier headphones and it doesn't seem to have any real issues. On top of that, it looks really clean and professional too. The third thing on my list is probably a staple for these type of videos. It is the Savrant USB hub or any USB hub that you can afford under $10. I chose the 2.0 version just because it's under the budget that we have set for this video, but you can go wild with any version that you really want. The great thing about this thing is that it's a hub so you can place it anywhere on your desk. It makes your setup look a lot cleaner because you have less cables to worry about. On top of that, you get extra USB ports, so I mean, who can complain about that? To top it off, this thing also has power switches, so if you don't actually want to unplug your USB device, you just have to press the button and it's ejected. Awesome. The fourth item on my list is actually not really used to clean your setup, but it's used more or less for design. It's the two meter LED USB 2.0 LED strip. I don't know why I said LED twice. It's kind of weird. But anyway, for $8.50, this thing is pretty freaking awesome. If you have six different light patterns, you can slow it down, you can speed it up. You have different light sequences that you can use and you can turn it on and off for your own will. On top of that, it's cuttable. So they have these little orange copper lines or orange copper shadows with black lines on top where you can cut if the two meters is too much for you. The very last item on my list is only $9. So we're still about a dollar short from the actual budget. It is basically a generic large mouse pad. So you can use your keyboard and your mouse on the same pad. Not only does this actually look a bit more professional than a single mouse pad, at least in my opinion, it helps out because you get more surface area for your mouse to move around. It's really good if you use your mouse on low sensitivity for MMOs or for FPS shooter games, and the blue design around the edges looks pretty nice as well. So all in all, the total for all the items in this video is about $36.50, at least when I shipped everything. That's amazing for what it offers. This is before, before I got all these items, this was my setup. And this is after I got all these items and actually used them to the best of my ability. So for only $36, you can clean your setup quite a bit and make it look a lot more professional. So I hope this video helped you guys out. If you did, uh, leave a like, and a comment below telling me what you liked about it. If you didn't, leave a like if you want, but if you didn't like the video, tell me why. I'm always looking to improve. As always, I'll see you guys later and peace.